Mm. Oh, oh my god. This matcha is the best thing that has ever happened to me in my life. Okay, so for today's video, I wanted to share with you this incredible recipe for matcha. If you haven't heard about matcha, I'll tell you a little bit more about it in a second. Matcha is amazing, it's delicious, and it's such a healthy way to start your day. So if you're someone like me who doesn't necessarily wake up super ravenous, but you do want to have a little bit of some sort of fancy drink like coffee or matcha or tea or something like that to get your day going and to feel like you're kind of caring for yourself in a certain way. Self-care comes in so many forms. One of those forms is making yourself this bomb ass matcha. Okay, so if you don't know anything about matcha, there's a lot of really great health benefits to it. First of all, it's finely ground green tea powder that originated in China. It has about half the caffeine as a cup of black coffee. However, the caffeine that you get from it like kind of slowly happens within your body and then gradually releases so you don't end up feeling super jittery and crash really hard like you can with coffee. Sometimes you hear people say that it tastes a little grassy, which actually is kind of true, but it's still incredibly delicious. Studies have shown that green tea actually gives us certain health benefits, such as, such as reducing inflammation, diminishing the signs of aging, which I'm all about, rejuvenating the skin that can help prevent heart disease, type 2 diabetes, fights cancer, also helps promote weight loss. It's so delicious that I can't believe it's that healthy for you. Another one of the videos that I hope to do soon is my journey with Whole30. I've done one full round of Whole30 so far, and that was back in May. For the entire month of May, I did Whole30, and it completely changed my life. But so far for today, I really wanna show you how to make this matcha recipe. It is Whole30. There's so many health benefits to this drink, and it is so delicious, it's gonna change your life forever. So keep watching for this ultimate Whole30 matcha recipe. First things first, you need a shopping list. So first thing you have is coconut water. I use a brand called Harmless. There's no added sugar, it's organic, and it comes in a biodegradable container, which I do appreciate. So we have to save the earth. Next, I'll use Vital Proteins Collagen Peptide Powder. That helps to create a little bit more of a creamy texture. It's also really good for your hair, nails, and your joints. Then I'll use a Whole30 creamer, which is called Nut Pods. This creamer is amazing. It's so delicious. I've never had a non-dairy creamer that actually was so creamy before. This is the perfect brand. The matcha, then I'll get culinary grade, but you can get ceremonial grade, which is a little bit more full-bodied, a little bit better tasting, definitely more expensive. I don't think it's necessary, but it's up to you. It's not too bad when you think about going out to get coffee every morning and how much you're spending on a latte potentially, then you're saving money ultimately when you buy it and you make it at home. You'll see in this video when I get into it that I will be using a Vitamix or a Vitamix, however you say it. If you don't have a blender at home, another way to make it is to just put it in some sort of container that you can shake and then shake it for like, I don't know, 30 seconds, a minute or something like that. You can't over shake it, just shake it till it gets all blended and nice. So all that being said, let me show you how I make this amazing, amazing matcha. First we have a cup of our harmless coconut water. Boom, so that's in there. Next what we're gonna do is take some measuring spoons. We're gonna do two tablespoons of the French vanilla nut pods. So first I'm gonna shake it up real good. Next what we're gonna do is put in a scoop of the Vital Proteins Collagen Powder. This one is unflavored. I don't know if I mentioned that before. And actually, I'm on my last scoop, so I'm literally just gonna dump this in there instead of using the scoop, because it's gonna probably tear up my hand if I try to do that, because it's really small. As you can see, this is a really tiny little thing, and then the matcha is just powdered green tea in there. So I take a hearty teaspoon, and then we're gonna blend. Okay, so while that was blending, as you can see, I got a few ice cubes, put them in my cute little mason jar that I got from my dad for Christmas a couple years ago that I super love. And now we're just gonna pour it in there and we're gonna enjoy. I 
can't even. So I hope you try it and I hope you like it. Let me know in the comments below what you think about matcha. Have you had it before? Have you never had it before? Are you gonna try this recipe? Did you try this recipe? Do you have your own recipe? Tell me in the comments what you think about matcha and if you have any tips or tricks that you wanna share with everybody, that would be amazing because I love matcha and I love this recipe so much that I actually don't even go out to get matcha somewhere else. I literally will just buy the ingredients and make it at home because I know how much I love it. But if you have any recipe ideas or other thoughts on matcha that you wanna share, let me know in the comments below. And in the meantime, enjoy your matcha. Bye guys. So if you want to find out how to make the best matcha that will, yeah. So if you want to find out how to make the best matcha that will ever, if you want to, the best matcha that you'll ever have in your life at home. I mean, that you can ever have. Keep watching.